while watching the recent trailer for Film Gold and seeing Sabo and Doflamingo, I had a thought. Why show Doflamingo? With this, I came to one conclusion. Doflamingo was selling Gil de Soro either smile or weapons. I'm leaning towards weapons because we have no indication that he had any Zoan users with him. Also, we have to think back to Doflamingo's influence and power. Maybe Doflamingo has something to do with him running an independent business that the world government cannot interfere. Remember the last time we saw CP0? It was because Doflamingo and his influence. Gil de Soto could also be reporting to Doflamingo due to him providing immunity. Because the world government cannot officially investigate, they must find a different way to infiltrate CP0. While that is enough reason to investigate, they catch a glimpse of someone that could be important if captured. The number two in the revolutionary army, Sabo. Sabo is heading toward the island to investigate the weapons that are being sold to Gil Soto. The world government recognizes this and sends Rob Lucci to investigate. Rob Lucci remains inconspicuous for most of the film but realizes Monkey D. Luffy is on the island with his crew and tries to intercept. We all want a rematch of Rob Lucci and Luffy but sadly, I don't believe we get that. This is before your sources so Sabo already remembers Luffy and at the moment Rob Lucci tries to pounce on Luffy. Sabo stops him. Luffy never knows that Sabo or Rob Lucci is there, but Robin does recognize Sabo and Koala, but never says a word. I think we get a quick fight between Sabo and Rob Lucci. Wouldn't it be cool seeing Sabo using his arm in hockey and Rob Lucci using his devil fruit? While the fight, like I said before, will not be long, Sabo will realize it's time to build due to a call that an admiral had gotten wind of the illegal activities taking place and is on the way. Green. Based on what Dolphin Mango stated. Chandler.